Hey guys, I'm Shuru with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if the fingerprint reader is not working on your iPhone or the Touch ID isn't working for you. Now, there's a couple of reasons why it is not working for you and you can usually get it fixed by yourself. So first thing is when it comes to the fingerprint touch error, it's important that you clean it with a microfiber cloth. And the reason is sometimes over time, if you have dust build up, it doesn't read your finger. And the same thing with your finger as well. Make sure that it is dry. When either your finger or the touchpad is a little wet, it tends to not read your fingerprint and that's gonna be a big issue. Other thing you also wanna ensure is that if you have a case, I recommend removing the case just for temporarily to see if that works. And sometimes some cases are magnetic that it could actually impact uh, the actual touch ID here. So when you put it, your touch finger there, it might not work for you. So go ahead and try that as well. Now, after that, what you want to do if you're still having issues with your fingerprint reader is force restart your iPhone. So on iPhone 8 and above and iPhone SE, uh, and above, you want to go press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down, and then hold the side button. So we're going to do volume up, volume down, and then I hold the side button. So you want to do it quick, volume up after volume down, followed by holding the side button. And what this will do on the iPhone 8 and above, will shut down the phone completely. And then once we see the Apple logo reappear, we'll let go of that button. And we have done is shut down the phone completely, have it reload the code. So if there's any software related issue impacting the phone, it will get resolved. Now, if you have a phone that's iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, it's slightly different. You wanna hold that power button and the volume down button at the same time until the screen goes completely black and then you'll let go of the buttons once the Apple logo shows up. Now, if you have iPhone 6S or older, you want to hold the home button and that power button at the same time till the screen goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears. So slightly different for the two other type of phones, but you get the idea of a forced restart. And this will not delete any of your personal data. So photos, videos, apps will also be there. Now the next thing you want to do in terms of troubleshooting your fingerprint not being working is that if you go into your settings and let's say you have your touch ID and passcode. So we're going to go ahead and add a finger to so try to add a new finger because sometimes your finger changes a little bit or something happened. You want to go add a new finger. So go ahead and add the finger just like that. So we'll go ahead and add a new finger. So make sure that it works for us. If we had an issue and then you're going to keep on doing it, adjust the grip. So you're going to put it up and down just like that see if that works and until it completes it and it's complete then you'll put a passcode here of course if you don't have a passcode you have to use a passcode but I didn't set once so I'm just entering a passcode to set for my iPhone so after you have done that and you're ready to go I'll show you some other thing you want to do is that if you have a previous fingerprint I would recommend removing that fingerprint so you may wonder how you do that so we're gonna go ahead and lock the phone unlock it with our fingerprint so if the fingerprint doesn't work you'll have to manually put in the number and then go back to your settings here and then you're going to go to touch id and passcode put in your passcode and this time if you have a fingerprint here so we're going to take a look at it we can add one but you also have the option to let's go ahead so i didn't add one i'm going to try to add one more time again to make sure so you have to do it nice and gently here when it comes to adding a fingerprint just a grip. So let's go ahead and try to add one, complete. What you'll do is if you see a finger here or other fingers, I would recommend is go ahead and delete the older fingerprint. So go ahead and delete and then re-add another one. And that sometimes that also helps. Now, if you're still having issues with the fingerprint reader, it's time to go ahead and reset all settings. So in your settings here, you can go to general, go all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. You're going to click on that and click on the first option for reset. And you're going to do a reset all setting. And generally takes about a minute or two. But before you do that, what does this do? This resets things like your network settings. So if you have saved Wi-Fi password or VPN setting or even Bluetooth connected devices will get all uh, unpaired again and reset. Anything around the keyboard dictionary will get reset. Home screen layout will also get reset if you have a custom home screen layout and any location and privacy setting as well. It's important to do this in order to fix your phone, especially if the fingerprint reader isn't working. And But again, this method of resetting all settings will not delete your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be there. You won't have any issues with it. So go ahead and do that. Now, after you have done that and you're still having issues, it's time to update your phone to the latest software version by going into your settings 
and then you are going to want to go to general software update and see if there's an update available and if there's an update available it should show up you're going to want to click and download and install give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes when it comes to software update and also your phone is at least 50 percent or more uh, charged up if not plugged in and you want to make sure you have a strong good Wi-Fi connection or have a strong cellular data connection in order to successfully do the update and hopefully after the update your iPhone works again with the touch of fingerprint and the touch ID itself and that's it for the video I hope now your fingerprint reader is working on your iPhone if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time